I don't know if you guys realize this, but kind of watch Elon Musk. He, you know, he I think he might be a artificial intelligence, maybe a robot, you know, something. And um, this is um, a dire situation. And so the, the, the so essentially we, what's happening is they're training the AI to lie. Yes. So all of a sudden AI is everywhere. People who weren't quite sure what it was are playing with it on their phones. Is that good or bad? Artificial intelligence. Yeah, sort of people said <laughs> it's everywhere. That's what they call it in the ag, the ag industry. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm talking about a, a more digital form. Talking. Yes. Um, so, yeah, so I've been um, thinking about AI for a long time since I was in college, really. Um, it was one of the things that, the sort of four or five things I thought would really uh, affect the future dramatically. Uh, so, um, and, uh, it, it, it is quite, it, it is fundamentally profound in that the, the, the smartest creatures, as far as you know, on this earth are humans, um, is a defining characteristic. Yes. Um, we're obviously, uh, weaker than, say, chimpanzees or less agile, um, but we're smarter. So, uh, now what happens when something... Uh, vastly smarter than the smartest person uh, comes along in silicon form. Uh, it's very difficult to predict what will happen in that circumstance. Um, it's called the singularity. It's you know, there's a singularity like a black hole. Yeah. You, don't, you don't know what happens after that. It's hard to predict. Um, so I think we should be cautious with uh, AI um, and we should I think there should be some government oversight uh, because it affects the. It, it's a danger to the public, and so when you when you have things that are a danger to the public, uh, you know, like let's say, um, so food, food and drugs. That's why we had the Food and Drug Administration and the uh, Federal Aviation Administration, uh, the FCC. Uh, we have we have these agencies to oversee things that uh, affect the public where there, there could be public harm. Um, and you don't want companies cutting corners uh, on safety um, and then having people suffer as a result. So uh, that, that's why I've actually for a long time been a strong advocate of uh, AI uh, regulation. Um, so that I think regulation is, uh, you know, I, it's, it's, it's not fun to be regulated. It's, it's sort of, sort of uh, somewhat of a, it's somewhat arduous to be, to be, to be regulated. Um, I have a lot of experience with regula uh, regulated industries because of obviously uh, automotive is hi highly regulated. You could fill this room with all the regulations that uh, are required for a production car just in the United States. And then there's a whole different set of regulations in Europe and China and the rest of the world. So I'm uh, very familiar with being overseen by a lot of regulators. Um, and the same thing is true with rockets. You can't just willy-nilly, you know, shoot rockets off, but not big ones anyway, because um, the FAA is uh, oversees that. Um, and then even to get a launch license, you, there, there are probably ha half a dozen or more uh, federal agencies that need to approve it, uh, plus state agencies. So it's it, I'm, I'm, I've been through so many regulatory. Uh, I mean, just look at him. Listen to how he talks. <laughs> 